Hello there, I'm Kafi Khan and welcome back to my Android tutorials. In the previous video, we worked on the structure of our main activity. In today's video, we'll work on listing the paired and available devices. So, for that we'll create an activity and what this activity will have is list to show paired devices and another list to show available devices and a button to scan available devices. So, let's get started. So coming back to our project. So to scan nearby devices, we need another permission. So let's add that in manifest. So coming here, let's add the permission. So use this permission, access, find location. So coming back to our main activity. And for devices running Android version, Marshmallow and above, need dynamic permission request. So let's add that. So let's create another function here. So private void. So check permissions. So Let's start. So if context compact dot check self permission, this requires two parameters, a context and a permission. So let's pass that. So context and permission is manifest dot permission dot access find location. So if this is not equal to package manager dot permission granted. So I'm just checking if the find location permission is not granted. So if that's not granted, so we'll request the permission here. So let's do that. So activity compact dot request permission. So this requires three parameters, the current activity, a string of permissions to be requested and a request code. So let's pass those. So my current activity is main activity dot this and a list a string array of permissions. So let's pass those. So new string and let's pass our permissions here. So which is manifest dot permission dot find location and let's pass our request code. So let's create one. So private final int location permission request. So let's call it 101. So this request code needs to be unique for your activity. So coming down, let's use this request code here. So location permission request. So this would request the permission. So once this permission is requested, we'll get a response. So let's handle that. So on request permissions result, so let's check if request code is our location request code. So location permission request. Then we check if grant results is greater than zero. That means, well, then we check if our grant results dot length is greater than zero. So we're just checking if there are some results and our grant results at zero is equal to is equal to package manager permission granted. So if that's the case, that means our permission has been granted and we can move forward. But if this was not true, then we can just show an alert dialog requesting for the permission again. So new alert dialog builder, this requires context and let's import this. So v7 dot set cancelable false set message. So location permission is required, please grant. Okay, set positive button. So let's put a label for the positive button, say grant and new on click listener. So here we'll request for the permissions again. So we'll have to call check permissions here and set negative button. So let's create another button. So let's name it say cancel or deny new on click listener. So here we'll just close the application. So main activity dot this dot finish and we'll have to call another function create. So this would create my dialog just like we call show in toasts. And if the request code is not our location permission granted, then let's just call the super function. Okay. So everything looks good. So coming here. So if my permission is granted, uh, I'll need to call our second activity. So let's create that. So Java new and activity empty activity. Let's call it a device list activity. So device list activity. That's the finish button. Well, the Gradle's building. So let's wait. Well, our activity is ready. So let's close this and moving on to the main activity. So here we'll call our next activity. So intent. Let's call it intent is equal to new intent. So context and device list activity dot class and start activity. Let's pass our intent here. Okay. So we're good to go. 
Okay, so here in LR dialog, let's call show and we need to call this function here in the many one click listeners. So check permissions and let's run our application and have a look. Well, let's check it out. Let's click here. It says allow Bluetooth chat app to access this device location. Let's deny. And now it shows me the dialog. So location permission is required. Please grant. So let's grant. It asks again. Let's allow it this time. So when I allow, it opens our next activity. So far, so good. So moving on to our next activity, which is device list activity. Okay, let's start with the UI part first. So coming here, let's get rid of this constraint layout and use a linear layout here. Let's provide an orientation, say vertical. Let's provide a title for paired devices. So text view, with match parent, high drop content. So let's provide text, so text. And for that, we'll need to visit our string.xml and create a string resource there. So resources strings.xml let's create our resource here so string let's call it str paired devices let's call it paired devices let's add another string so str available devices let's call it available devices okay so coming back to our device list.xml let's use that string resource here so str paired devices okay let's add a list here so list view with match parent i drop content Let's provide it with an ID, say list paired devices. Similarly, let's add another for available devices. So str available devices, let's change this ID. So list available devices. Okay, so let's have a look at the preview. And now as you can see, we've got a title paired devices and a list. So moving on to the Java file, we'll need an instance of our list views here. So let's create those. So private list view, let's call it list paired devices. Let's add another, so list available devices. Okay, let's initialize them. And for that, let's create a small function. So let's call it init. Let's initialize those here. So list paired devices is equal to find view by id r dot id and list pair devices okay let's call this function here so in it and let's initialize our other list so list available devices is equal to find view by id r dot id and list available devices okay so now what we need is adapters for our list items okay so let's create one so private array adapter let's Create it as a string array adapter. Let's call it adapter paired devices. Let's create another for available devices. So adapter available devices. So let's initialize them. So adapter paired devices is equal to new array adapter. So this requires context and a layout file. So let's provide context and we need to define context here. So private context, let's call it context and let's initialize it. So context is equal to this. So coming here, now it requires a layout file. So let's create one. So layout, right click, new and layout resource file. So device list item. Let's hit the OK button. Let's switch to the text mode and close this. Let's get rid of this constraint layout and use a text view here. Okay, let's change the height to wrap content. Let's provide it with an ID. So ID list item or device info. So coming back to our list activity, let's pass the layout here. So r dot layout dot device list item. Similarly, let's add another adapter. So adapter available devices. So go to new array adapter context and the same layout file. So now we've got our adapter, so let's set them in the list. So list pair devices dot set adapter. So adapter pair devices. Similarly for available devices, so list available devices dot set adapter and adapter available devices. So now we've got our list and adapters and we've set the adapters in the lists. So now what we need is some data to populate these lists. So let's start with the pair devices first. As you can recall in the previous video, I told that a Bluetooth adapter can be used to return all the paired devices. 
So let's create an instance of Bluetooth adapter. So coming here, so private and Bluetooth adapter, let's call it Bluetooth adapter. Let's initialize it. So Bluetooth adapter is equal to get default adapter. So set Bluetooth devices, let's call it paired devices is equal to and Bluetooth adapter dot get bonded devices. So what this function does is it returns me all the paired devices. So now that we've got paired devices, so let's check if there are any. So if paired devices dot is not equal to null and paired devices dot size is greater than zero. So we're just checking if it's not null and it contains at least one element. If that's the case, then let's loop it. So Bluetooth device, let's call it device and let's loop it for our pair devices and let's add all these in our pair adapter. So adapter pair devices dot add and device dot get name and let's also get the address. So devices dot get address and they should populate our pair devices. Okay, now let's run our application and have a look. Well, application is running, so let's have a look. Okay, Bluetooth is on, let's click here and nothing happens, so let's check it. So coming to our main activity, so when you click here, it checks permission. Okay, so here we need to add our intent. Okay, we're good to go, let's run it again. Okay, let's click here. So now as you can see, it shows me a list of all my paired devices and below available devices, it's empty. Okay, so that's all for today. So we've seen how to show paired devices in the next video we'll see how to show available devices. So if you have any doubts, any queries so far, feel free to drop a comment and we'll go through it. See you in the next video and take care.